Okay, uh, this is a video to cover the notes from pages 3 to 5 on week 5, day 2. So uh, we're going to take a look here at conventional methods for naming a variable. A uh, variable it has to be a legal identifier, has to have to follow legal procedures, uh, but to distinguish it from a class, uh, we start the a variable name with lowercase letters. Okay, so start or begin with a lowercase letter. I really should have said with a and then lowercase letters, what I should have said. Um, the other thing is that the subsequent words, if you have multiple words in there, you need to capitalize subsequent words, which is called camel casing. So um, examples in C here, you have cat, which has a lowercase c, starts with a lowercase c. Cat food starts with a lowercase c, capitalizes f. Box 2 has a lowercase b, and then 2 is part of a legal identifier, so that's fine. The idea is that it starts with a lowercase letter. That's what is important. And then orange box 3 has the camel casing, and then hourly pay reg has camel casing. So that's why those are all conventional ways to name a variable, as opposed to a class that starts with a capital letter. When declaring a variable in number 5, that's very important to do because if you don't declare a variable, you can't use the variable. It's got to be declared first. The template for declaring a variable is that uh, it has a, the data type, it has the identifier or the name of the variable and a semicolon. So those are uh, three things that are part of a, the most basic declaration of a variable. So the example is int is the data type, age is the identifier or the name of the variable, and then it has a semicolon. So what does a variable declaration declare? Well, it declares the variable's data type. That's the important thing, is it, de it declares that this is an int, or it declares that the variable is a double, or it declares it's a string. Those are the ones that we're going to be using most is uh, int, string, and double are the ones that we're going to be using, and then we'll throw in a boolean a little bit later on. So it declares the data type, and then it uh, also declares the uh, spelling and capitalization of the variable's identifier. So it establishes how that variable is supposed to be spelled and how it should be capitalized. So in this case, this is age spelled like this, and there's no caps at all in it. So that's the name of the variable. Okay, so what does a variable do? Well, what does declaring it, re it reserves a named memory location. It reserves a named memory location. A named location, or another way to say it is it's a named location in the computer's memory. So what's computer memory? Well, the computer memory is the storage space in a computer where the data is to be processed and where instructions required for process are stored. So it's inside your computer on the hard disk where your storage is or where the memory is. And in that memory are going to be spaces that places that can store uh, different things. And so when you declare a variable, and, the, and this is uh, when the compiler comes to that line, when it compiles that line, that's when the memory location is established. So if we take int age, for instance, when the compiler reads int age, semicolon, it sets up a memory location and it gives it a name, age. And that's all it does. It's just waiting to be uh, filled with some value, but now it does not have a value at this time. All right, so that's what it does, establishes a memory location. So then I ask, will declare a variable that will hold the number of games won by a sports team, and then draw a picture of what declaring this variable 
uh, does in the computer. So you should try that and um, maybe pause the video and then you try that yourself using the notes and see if you can tell what that means. So here is what you should have done. You should have done something like this where here's your data type and then the variable that you wrote could be different than what I have. Um, but I have games one and then the semicolon so make sure you have that and then you the picture that shows um, what it does in the computer is it sets up a memory location uh, so it sets up a memory location okay now I had an interruption so coming back to this um, I just want to make sure to mention one thing is that uh, the name of your variable is important um, some people just put games and that's not specific enough so you want to make it specific uh, without making the name too long uh, but uh, because it, you know, there may be games won and then there may be another variable for games lost and then maybe total games so you don't want to just have something as general as just games unless it works in the program uh, but generally you want it more specific letter E you may declare a variables data type only once in a program and by that I mean uh, you can only uh, declare what its data type is uh, one time so don't do this it says int age as a declaration and later on it, it it assigns 15 to it and but it says int again but you only associate the data type with the variable one time because uh, once you do that the the computer knows that or the compiler knows that so uh, this would cause a compiler error uh, so just do this int age as a declaration and then later on just age with no data type uh, being assigned 15 um, number six is assigning a variable um, assigning a variable means to give it a value uh, that matches its data type it uh, so it's assigning a variable that that uh, gives or it it, uh, it means to give it a value that matches this data type so if you assign it to be an int or uh, declare it to be an int then you make sure that the values should be things like 1 and 5 and 12 they should be integers if it's double then you want to give values that are decimals and if it's a string you want to give uh, values that are words and letters and things like that characters string of characters an assignment uses uh, what's called an assignment operator uh, we look at it and we say well that's an equal sign it's actually in Java it's an assignment operator and it's also read differently so an example you have a declaration int games one and then the assignment is uh, games one is assigned 15 so it's read games one is assigned 15 not games one equals 15 and so um, that's how that goes. Now here's an example for a double and notice it's being assigned a decimal and then a string is assigned a string, a literal string. So the important thing about a string is that you want to make sure that the value has quotation marks around it. So quotation marks are important because that's what makes it become a string. The other thing is that the data type string is capitalized um, as opposed to double and int and that's because uh, string is actually considered a class and that's something that we're not necessarily going to discuss what that means but that's the point so it is capitalized. Um, so in 7 um, by the way, if we go back up here, int games one and games one, the memory location is empty. When you assign the variable, let's say to be 15, then you actually could put a 15 in the memory location because that's what would be happening with the compiler. Now, number seven, initialization. Initialization is simultaneous declaration and assignment. All that means is that the declaration and the assignment take place on the same line so up here you had the declaration on one line the assignment on the next line and here an assignment is on the same line as the declaration
Okay, so it's an assignment. It's on the same line as the declaration. The example here, you have uh, the data type, you have the identifier, the um, assignment operator, and then the value and the semicolon. So this is called initialization, and so we would say that games one was initialized because initial means first, like if the initial attempt would be the first attempt. So when it was first, when games one was first introduced or declared, it was assigned a variable or a value. So that's called being initialized. Um, initialize, so if I say here to initialize a variable that holds the price of a hot dog and then draw a picture of what the declaration does in the computer memory. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video and then come back to it and see how you did. Okay, so uh, to initialize a variable means to declare it and assign it on the same line. So here I have it declared as a double and it's a hot called hot dog price and it's assigned 2.45 or 2.245 and semicolon so there should be no dollar sign in it because you can't put a dollar sign in the value of a variable uh, as such as a double or an int um, so things to look at here you might have used the word the data type int when you're talking about a price general rule, you'll want to use a double because a price usually means a decimal. Now, it doesn't always have to be like that, but that's just a general rule. Um, also, you'll notice the variable. Make sure you start with a lowercase a letter, and then if you have more than one word, that they are capitalized in there with no spaces. And then the other thing, the thing that the declaration does initialization does in the computer memory is it sets up a memory location right here it gives it a name which should match um, what you said here in the declaration and then it did assign a value so in this time you will actually type a value or put a value into that memory location all right number eight um, a declaration review um, is just this that you can declare um, and assign declare now and assign later um, so you can uh, declare now so go something like int age and then next line go age is assigned uh, 20 in between here you could have a number of code lines of code in between int age and age 20. Uh, so it's just there are going to be cases where you will not know what the variable or the value is yet and so later on that value would be established and in between there's going to be lines of code for the program. Now the other thing uh, the other thing is declare and initialize now and so that would of course be something of this nature uh, where it's all in one line. So that's the main idea. Uh, concatenation we have to talk about here and then we'll be done and that is concatenation which means uh, means to join together or the joining together of literal strings variables methods and constants etc in one expression. So it's the joining together of literal strings and variables etc. It uses a concatenation operator so this plus sign is called a concatenation operator. It's the plus sign operates the act of joining or concatenating um, things together. An example is in a print statement. So um, in here you've got You've got a literal string right here, the Cardinals 1, because it's in parentheses, or in quotation marks. And then here you've got a variable, and then here you've got another literal string. All right, so, and these are being joined together, and then the result is. Uh, the Cardinals won 15 games. So notice it doesn't say the Cardinals won games won games. 
well why does it say why doesn't it say games one why does it say 15 so in the next video uh, for the assignment tonight then um, it talks about calling the variable and that's where you find out well why does it say 15 instead of games one so that is it as far as the notes here